We are here with Yaba Angelosi. Did I get that right? Yes. Okay, good. A Sudanese musician based out in Tennessee. Could you tell us a little bit about your music? Um... Uh, well, my music started back home in South Sudan. Okay. That's where I was born. And uh, as the time go by, I started in church okay. as, a, as, a, as a boy choir member. Uh -huh. So I used to sing and uh, play guitar in the church. And it went on from there to Egypt, where my parents moved there. Uh, from Egypt, we moved down to USA. Uh -huh. And kind of started out in church, doing gospel music. And as the time grew by, uh, due to the fact that my country been through a lot of uh, suffering, right. I decided to take my music and how can I use my music to inspire my people. Um, so ever since then, dedicated my, my music for South Sudan and uh, just been taking it from there. And, and the support been good over the past four, four years. Four years, so your career has been over four years? Yes, yes, it's been four years, yes. Okay. Has it been a struggle to start? What's the, what's the difference um, back home and here? It's always, it's always difficult to start. Um, first, building your fan base. You don't know how, what kind of audience you want to reach sometimes, mm -hmm. and you don't know if they're going to like your music or not. Okay. It's a lot of difficulties, and also financial. You right. know, it's always a big, big role. You have to work, you have to go to school in the same time doing music. So it's sometimes it's difficult when I started for me. Uh, but as time grew by, it, it became a little much easier because my people started supporting me okay. through my journey, and and you know, fin not just supporting, you know, clapping hand, but also financially. Okay. So it's 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 been good. Back home, also, um, the industry is still developing due to the fact you know my country been through a lot of war and stuff. Um, so it's been hard for the musicians to get established. But right. now that we have our brand new country, uh, one year. So thank you, thank you. So, you know, in the next five, six years, seven, perhaps ten years, uh, you know, South Sudan music will start blooming and people will start to recognize South Sudan uh, musicians. So. so where do you want your music to, to go in like the next five years? Do you want it, um, are you going to be based here, do you think? Will you go back home or would you like well, to travel? Well, definitely. I would like to go back home because it's a brand new country. We want to develop it, you right. know. And us being in the diaspora in the U.S. and Canada, Australia, we have so much we learn from here. Um, and I can take whatever I learned from this country, take it back home and help rebuild the industry of South Sudan music. So that's why I'm thinking five years from now, I should have a nice home, relax, <laughs> you know, and enjoy myself back home. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, definitely. Okay. Could you sing a little something for us? Yes. Uh, yeah, I could sing something in a dialogue of uh, Arabi, okay. which we call it Arabi Juba. A uh, song called Salam Alaikum is one of my favorite songs. Uh, it's basically me and peace be with you. It mm -hmm. goes like this. Salamu Salamu, Salamu Alaikum. Salamu Salamu, Salamu Alaikum. Aya Jama, ah, Salamu Alaikum. Aya Sosa, ah, Salamu Alaikum. Ooh. Oh, that's yes. nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, so where can we find your music? Uh, you can find me in iTunes. Okay. You go to iTunes.com slash Yabangelosi. Well, okay. search Yabangelosi. That's Y-A-B-A -A space A-N-G-E-L-O-S-I. I know it's a long name, but it has a great meaning. So Yabangelosi, iTunes. You can also find me a lot of on online stores, Amazon MP3, okay. um, and Azul, Napstar. It's just, if you just type in Yabangelosi in Google, you'll find me. What's the name of your album? Uh, I have two albums that I've released. Okay. Uh, first album called Survivor, mm -hmm. which I dedicated to my nation in basic speak out. It has messages of uh, hope and peace and, you know, just trying to liberate my people through my music. The second album, um, it's called Kalam Sah. Mm -hmm. Well, basically, it's, it's versatile. I try to reach out to the other African countries, okay. you know, try to showcase my musical talent and stuff. Uh, so it's 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 combination of Afrobeat, you know, Zoo, um, de Calais, you know, whatever versatile style of music that, that a lot of African um, countries have. So, you know, try to combine it together. Okay. So we have two albums out. When's the next album coming out? Yes, good question. Um, I'm currently in the studio right now working on my third album, which I'm featuring some of the, some of the biggest guys, biggest guys. <laughs> from Africa. I have Joseph Chameleon on it okay. from Uganda. Hey. <laughs> and also have Kesha from Congo on it. Okay. I'm still working things out with Flavor from uh, Nigeria. So okay. this album is gonna be unique. I'm planning to release it sometimes in October. So you know, I really wanna wanna reach out to the African industry to kind of showcase that you know what we South Sudan have musicians too. Um, That's true. So looking forward to it. Be looking out to it. We don't have a title for it yet, but 
My favorite, you know, so far is uh, Rhythm of the Nile, due to the fact that Nile represents South Sudan. You know, I wanted mm -hmm. to just showcase uh, my country through my music. So if the rest of the album is like what we just heard, Sal mm -hmm. Salam Aleikum. Salam Aleikum, yes. You definitely have to get that. I know I am. And um, Yaba Ange Angelosi. Angelosi. Yes, yes. Definitely look, look out for him on Amazon, and Amazon iTunes. iTunes, Snapstar, you know. Just search it in Google, you'll find it. <laughs> Any concerts uh, to coming to Dallas? Definitely, I had a concert last week here. Okay. Uh, and I decided to stay longer and show support to my brothers and sisters here with this organizers. So definitely I have a couple other shows coming up in Canada. My Canadian okay. tour will start in two weeks. So we'll go back to Nash for Get Prepared and head out of the country. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, well, thank you so very much for joining us. Thank you for having and me. And we look forward to listening to more of your music. Thank you, thank you so much.